now with our GMA expedition to Antarctica. What an incredible journey this has been. Amy Robach and her crew facing challenging conditions just to get to the frozen continent to see the wildlife and the effects of climate change firsthand. So let's check back in with Amy. Once again, Amy, good morning. Good morning, guys. Here we are in the middle of the Southern Ocean. We're surrounded by icebergs and sea ice. Uh, the weather here, very extreme and sometimes hard to predict. So we had quite an effort getting to this point. But wow, is this magnificent because not only are we seeing all of this stunning imagery, we got to meet the continent's most famous residents. Antarctica may be remote, but there is still a lot of hustle and bustle around here. On Peterman Island, thousands of Gen 2 penguins call the ice home, building nests, swimming, and just hanging out. Even though the slippery conditions can be too much for some, our team disembarked the National Geographic Endurance and set out to see these incredible animals in their natural habitat. Taking small crafts known as zodiacs, we pushed through the ice on open water. Arriving on this small island where the Gentoos were waiting for us. Standing in the middle of the island, we were surrounded by penguins that were calling out and waddling from one point to another. We learned to stay 15 feet. That's the closest we can get to these animals because we don't want to do anything to disturb their natural habitat and their natural ways. The southernmost continent is home to a wide variety of penguins, emperors, chin straps, Adelis, and our friends, the Gentoos, all live here. But like all of us, climate change is impacting these adorable creatures. The biggest impacts of climate change on penguin species in Antarctica, uh, or really any species in Antarctica, are the impacts that we see on the sea ice and also on the Antarctic krill. We've seen areas that used to be frozen that are now melted, and we've seen areas that used to be covered with snow pretty consistently year after year that are now just dark soil. It's amazing that this is happening in such a short amount of time. And our journey does not end here. We're gonna get back on our ship and sail to the mainland of Antarctica where we hope to meet some more of its residents. We'll bring them to you, of course, guys. Back to you. Wow, we could watch the video of those penguins all day and just beautiful images out there. Our thanks to Amy and the entire team working on this.